Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new update to the pen tool and the upcoming version 3 of Tablet Pro. So let's go ahead and jump in, and uh, I'm excited to share a couple things with you. So the first thing you're going to notice is down here, there are three new icons. Tablet Pro Pen, Tablet Pro Touch, and Tablet Pro Zoom. Now we've made the icons look like a family, like part of a suite, because they are part of a suite. And so we're, we're working on making and integrating everything together for version three. Okay, so now uh, right here, you can click on touch and this will open the unfinished version of version three. So you have an idea of some of the different things that are going on here and that's it. No more information on version three uh, until the end of the video. All right, so this update of the pen tool has a handful of new things. What I am most excited about is here inside of the settings, we have a new tooltip right here. Actually, that's not the most exciting thing. There are other things that are better. We have an online presets folder. So you can check here, I am putting uh, updated presets in there regularly. This is a OneDrive, a shared OneDrive folder. So you can download and you can check a different, a uh, couple different things and you can store it in your OneDrive um, as a shared folder, I think. I'm not sure how to do that. Anyway, this is a great addition. We've renamed a bunch of these buttons. Let's say we were to open up, we have the pen tool window, we have the presets online folder. Let's say we wanted to grab League of Legends, the INI file, and drag it over here. You can drag it directly on top here and it says Tablet Pro presets imported because it is. And then you can go here, you can click on open, uh, I'm sorry, open assigned presets folder. We rename those. Or if you right click right here on the pen tool, open presets folder. And then you can go, and this is the default one, and you should see League of Legends right here. We just imported this. So I think that's really great. It's a really good addition. Uh, the pen tool now has three different keyboard shortcut uh, groups, which we are still working in the next little, tiny little update. We're going to label what these are. Tablet Pro mode switching shortcuts, that would be like Control Shift A, or I'm sorry, that's like wind shift A, wind shift F, wind shift um, M, and these different ones that switch the modes over here. Um, for ease of use, wind shift A, let's go ahead and cancel this and go into the help menu, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, wind shift A toggles all of the sizes. That means that you can just go uh, slim, small, medium, large with the same keyboard shortcut. Very nice. Okay, so here we can disable the ones for that, for switching modes, uh, shortcuts for pen tool panels and Windows settings. For pen tool panels, this is control backslash to open up the main window here, as well as the control win T for uh, hiding and showing the taskbar right here. And then the panel ones is to open the input panels. So that would be like control alt backslash and control shift backslash to open the quick input panel. Uh, we fixed some bugs with switch barrel and invert actions. Uh, in the last release, uh, the modifiers would not work. If you selected a modifier and modifier was selected right here, you had to select here. We fixed it so it works correctly now. If you have alt here, it'll work uh, correctly. Uh, we added a word uh, option here. We fixed a couple things with exes. Um, so X exe. So if you had Firefox, the X is this is uh, Expressy, and so X exe was loading during Firefox running, and so now this will not do that. It only will load uh, if X exe is actively loaded, not Firefox exe. You can also go to help and check the change log, which lists out a handful of these. Copy and paste a preset using the share icon, move Tablet Pro 
touch settings icon onto the bottom panel. Uh, yes, it's a UI change, allow drag and drop preset files. We did that. You can do multiple files at the same time. Main panel will show if the icon is clicked, pen tool is already running, which means that right here, if you click this and it's already running down here, it'll open the panel. That is fantastic because people who get lost, uh, because clicking on that doesn't do anything that they can see. It just puts the, it turns it on, but doesn't open the panel. That is a great improvement. All right, so I think that is everything. So let's talk about version three of Tablet Pro. Now we've been on version two for, I think four and a half years or five and a half years. It's been a long time. And so this has been a long time in the coming. And so what we're gonna do is uh, some really nice improvements to make it easier for everybody to install, get started. Uh, those things we've been working on for a while and you're already seeing those benefits. So now when people say upgrade, what you need to know is the current version will continue to work. There is no push, you don't have to upgrade. We've wanted to make it very, very easy for people to upgrade and to upgrade early. And so during the initial launch of Tablet Pro version three, where there's not going to be a huge discrepancy between the functions, the features, we're going to be adding features as we go, the same way we've been doing with version two, uh, but we're doing a UI update. Uh, we're making everything easier to use, putting more documentation and help into the program itself so that users can find how things work much simpler and easier. And then we are deciding between two options on the upgrade pricing. So comment below if you have a preference and uh, that can help guide us in our decision-making process. So the way that I'm looking at it right now is that we would uh, start with a very low upgrade price, somewhere in between $4.99 and $9.99 for the upgrade. And as we add features, increase the upgrade price up to a reasonable standard upgrade price where there's uh, quite a few new features. So if you know that you're gonna want the upgrade when we release it, buy it right away because that is when it will be cheapest. Again, the longer you wait, the more expensive it will be. We're trying to make it very, very affordable for people and allow you guys to support that further development as well as getting a much better looking and easier to use uh, product. So, all right, that's it for this video. If you guys have questions or you have a feature that you want in version three of Tablet Pro, put it in the comment section. I wanted to thank everybody who's in the community for being such a great community to serve. You guys have been wonderful and very supportive. And again, the easiest way to show your support is to purchase. And the easier than that way is to rate us up in the Microsoft App Store. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.